Yo, welcome back to the People's Channel with the People Champ. So, <laughs> if you saw my community post, you saw that um, Bureau Man beat me to the punch today. Uh, big shout out to Bureau Man, man. This guy is creating crazy content per usual. He got the, he posted the Storm solo in the Abyss as a horseman. Horseman Storm Solo versus uh, um, Omega Red before I did, and it was great work. Um, so a big shout out to Bureau Man. But from not only his video, but my video, which I saw that I actually had, I ended up with more shock debuffs than he did before the fight was over. So it made me get curious as to how many shock debuffs can storm apply now this is a rank four five star storm i'm applying boosts because without them not only because of class disadvantage in the attack loss rating there but also because uh of the way you know labyrinth works the enraged timer is based on your attack so i need more attack in order to make the timer last longer so i just made an apocalypse i just made a horseman out of storm you know i killed off apocalypse and i threw some boosts on storm so the goal here is to stack up as many shocks as possible i want to see how many shocks i can stack up now also re recognize this this is probably the biggest one of the biggest health pools in the game right now which is why i'm testing the shock damage, uh, rather the shock debuffs out on Storm, uh, on Star Lord, rather, you know, because his health pool is 3.3 million. Um, in the Abyss, unless it's like a Gladiator Hulk, a lot of the earlier fights only have a health pool of 2.7 million. Quake is an exception as well. So, you know, with me wanting to see the shock damage. The only way I could really test that is on a bigger health pool. And I mean, I would try it on Gladiator Hope, but uh, yeah, I don't want to spend the resources to get there after fighting Iron Man and Invisible Woman. So here we are. Uh, but yeah, so the goal is to stack up as many shots as possible and see what the damage is going to be like. So the goal, but not the goal. The way to do that is to get a shock first, get the first shock on Star Lord, and then just spam heavies basically. Uh, as you see, I just got evaded right there. But yeah, so it's pretty pretty plain and simple. Uh, I ended up soloing Abyss Omega Red with 101 shocks. So I want to try and get past that. It's kind of tricky because once the shock debuffs are around like i want to say 80 85 90. the damage per second is just crazy so it's, it's kind of hard to get more shock debuffs after that point yeah and another reason why i won't try this in the abyss is because this is a rank four storm i'll have to rank five her first but in the abyss you know there's a there's a hit cap and i think I would run out of time. I would run out of, of hit cap before I'd be able to test how many shocks I can actually apply. Uh, as you see, her heavy does what four or five hits? I'm not counting. Let's see, one, two, three, four. So that's four hits per heavy. That you know kind of makes the the hit hit count tick away really fast. Um, so yeah, ideally right now with this rank four or five star star storm, this is the best place to try to get past a hundred shots. And I believe the reason why I'm able to get past or at least try to get past a hundred shot debuff is because storm special has a chance to apply a separate shot debuff. So it doesn't count towards what I believe is the typical 99 limit for buffs and debuffs in this game currently but yeah as you can see we are currently at 95 shocks doing 21,000 per tick and climbing 
Uh, so here we are, 101. I want to get past that. Come on, come at me, bro. 102. Ticking for 22,000. That was crazy. Wow, 180 hits. Boosted up storm. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's the People Channel, People Channel.